Okay, Paul, uh, thanks for sending the, the video through. Um, what I've got is I've, I've got a player here, just, just so you can get an idea of what, what uh, I'd like you to start working on. Um, the first thing would be just in the legs. If you look at the position of the legs here, the knees are almost touching these lines. So what I'd like to see here is, see how there's like a gap here? I'd like you to like fill that gap up a little bit. So it's going to feel like your knees are a little wider apart. Uh, also, I want you to look at this uh, screen down here. This is the force plate, and it tells us uh, this line here is the center of gravity or center of pressure. And that this is your uh, right foot, and this is your left foot. Now, what you'll notice is that a lot of the time, the, the weight is spending a lot of time out towards the toes of your feet, and that's why the leg action, like you were saying, um, especially when you get on uneven lies, is going to be a little more difficult. So we really want to try and make it feel like that you keep it more in the arch or, or towards, especially halfway back into the heel and coming into impact, we want it in, in the left foot into the heel. That's going to help with your balance, but it's also going to help with what you're saying with your leg action. Now, this is um, your, your power and your force is obviously uh, really quite good. Um, you know, you, you're uh, swinging backwards and forwards pretty much on, on one plane. But the, the thing I'd like you to do is, is just make that small change in the setup. Uh, his head is a, a little more over the top of the ball. I don't mind your head being uh, there, but no further back than that. Uh, as he takes the club back and coming into impact, I'm just going to stop him at impact because that, that's the, the feel that I'd like you to try and uh, work on coming through the ball. So we're gonna we're gonna take you through to impact now. So obviously there's a twisting motion in there, and I think a lot of that is the the weight uh, issue. I think if you work on getting to start off with, make it feel like that you actually uh, sort of scrunch your toes up in in your shoes, or either that, or actually lift your toes right up uh, uh, up off the ground and do a few practice swings just to give you the feeling of uh, that should get the weight what you'll notice is as you go back here and then especially uh, even starting down you'll see in the in the force plate almost both heels have actually come up off the ground which means that uh, you, you know it's not as strong as position as, as you could be and we're not using the ground as, as much as you could um, what you like to notice there is coming into the ball your shoulders are very closed off to the target so uh, if we sort of we're gonna get you opening your shoulders up and and turning your turning your hips certainly at this point here I like to see your hips and shoulders uh, far more open and that's gonna um, sort of stop that sort of block hook that you're actually getting you're gonna feel like you're gonna almost pull it over to the left hand side so coming through the ball what you'll notice is that his head is more over the top of the ball the chest is more open and the hips are more uh, open going down to the left hand side now that that's going to give you uh, going to take away that so the block and the and the hook action that you're getting so uh, if we uh, once again work on that setup position get the the legs a little wider make it feel like you just take practice swings and give yourself the feeling um, you know certainly even there you, you look on the force plate we can't see your heels so um, really want to concentrate on keeping the, the weight back in your, your heels at the top of the backswing, the right heel, and at impact it should be back into the left heel. And, um, and then coming through the ball, we're going to make it feel like that your hips and shoulders are a lot more open than that. And that, that will actually pull your head up into the correct position. So if we turn through and come through similar position to, to what this tour player has here, He's a lot more grounded. He's moved forward a little more and more open. Now, I think you'll find if we, we do that, you'll look a, a lot more like him. We take it through to the, to the follow-through position. So obviously now you're going up and around the corner because we've talked about that uh, like a, a little bit before, but we're, we're going to work on a, an impact drill to sort of help you get through the ball and, uh, and get your, uh, your shoulder plane a, a little bit steeper, and that's going to help that. But just work on the, the setup, get the legs a little bit apart first, uh, make it feel like that the weight is staying in your heels more, backwards and forwards, and uh, that little impact drill with the chipping and pitching where your hips and your shoulders are, are slightly open when we hit it. And uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll, we'll start looking at your shoulder plane and, and give you a few drills to, uh, 
to make that a little steeper. Okay, just give me a call and uh, we'll see you for a lesson soon.